Sugar City, Sugar Bowl, and Sugar Capital. What sweet and delicious ways to call a town. And they're exactly what Bacolod is. It's the capital and gateway to Sugarlandia, or the sugar-producing province of Negros Occidental. Bacolod is a relatively new but busy city with a population of about 500,000. It's surrounded by hectares and hectares of sugar shendas, which account for about 60% of the country's total sugar production. Although lacking in modern port facilities, Bacolod is still the service and commercial center of the sugar industry in Negros Island. It's comparatively wealthy and it's said to be only second to Manila in terms of number of registered vehicles. It's probably why the roads are wide and straight. They were made to accommodate the limousines and sports cars of Bacolod's elite. The city sprawls over 16,000 hectares, giving the whole area a relaxed suburban feel. In the 19th century, income generated from sugar made Negros planters fabulously wealthy. Sugar barons, who were mostly of Spanish mestizo descent, owned vast plantations and palatial homes in Bacolod and neighboring Silay. They had a reputation for extravagant lifestyles and political influence. Up until the 1980s, Negros Occidental was one of the most prosperous in the country, with a relatively high degree of urbanization and industrialization in its key cities. But the sugar industry suffered a blow in the 1980s, and the Negrenses, as they are called, had to weather hard times. At the heart of Bacolod City is the plaza, a popular meeting place and the scene of cultural presentations on special occasions. It's flanked by the old San Sebastian Cathedral, built in 1876. Its church is crowned by two pinnacles and has meter-thick walls made of bricks and corals from nearby Guimaras Island. The imposing provincial capital building on the city's north side is another important landmark in Negros. It houses the Sugar Museum, which showcases antique furniture, artifacts, and machinery connected with the development of the sugar industry in the province. Historically, Bacolod got its name from the term Bulu Bacolod or Hilly, a native word that described the terrain of the early settlement. Lately, however, Bacolod has taken on yet another reputation. Tourists now know it as a city of smiles, mainly because of its famous Mascara Festival. On the weekend closest to October 19th, the largest festival in the province takes place, the Mascara. It's like a Mardi Gras where groups of people with colorful costumes and giant paper mache masks parade around the streets. It coincides with the city's Charter Day celebration and throughout the week, local and foreign tourists crowd the town plaza to join the locals in partying, mask making and sports competitions. Mascara was derived from the word mass, meaning multitude of people, and the Spanish word cara, or face. The smiling mask, which is the symbol of the festival, was introduced by organizers in 1980 to show the happy spirit of the Negrenses despite the adversities they experienced back then. These masks take center stage at the Sunday parade as Bacolod nuns from all walks of life wear dimpled grinning or laughing masks while gyrating to the beat of Latin or disco music. 